The experiment is estimation of iron in hematite ore solution. The reactive metals occur in nature in the form of their stable compounds such as oxides, sulphides, carbonates, etc. These naturally occurring metallic compounds along with the impurities are known as minerals. The minerals from which the metals can be extracted profitably are known as ores. Next to aluminium, iron is the most abundant metal in the earth's crust. Hematite, magnetite are the two important ores of iron. The best hematite ore with the composition Fe2O32H2O contains about 69.4% of iron. Determination of iron in hematite ore solution is based on the principle that when the ore is digested with 1 is to 1 HCl, Fe2O3 is converted to ferric chloride leaving behind silica as an insoluble residue. The resulting solution is treated with stannous chloride to reduce ferric ions to ferrous ions and then it is titrated against standard potassium dichromate solution using potassium ferricyanide as external indicator. By knowing the volume of standard solution of potassium dichromate required for the oxidation of ferrous ions to ferric ions, the percentage of iron can be calculated. Now let us see how the experiment is conducted. The reagents required for the experiment is standard potassium dichromate solution, the ore solution, concentrated HCl, stannous chloride, mercury chloride and freshly prepared potassium ferricyanide indicator. This is the temporary arrangement made for the cleaning purpose and stannous chloride is taken in the burette for the addition. Now this sample solution has to be pipetted out into a clean conical flask. So to this about 5 ml of concentrated HCl is added. Now the solution is heated on a hot plate till it gets boiled, I mean nearly to boiling. The temperature will be around 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. When the solution starts just boiling, now Add stannous chloride in drop wise for the reduction. To the hot solution, stannous chloride is added. After the complete disappearance of yellow color, add one or two drops excess for complete reduction. Now cool the solution to the room temperature. Firstly, it is air cold. Then slowly by keeping under the tap water, the solution has to be cooled thoroughly to the room temperature. around 10 ml of water as well as 5 ml of mercury chloride has to be added. Mercury chloride is added to oxidize the excess stannous chloride present in the solution.
The formation of white precipitate, silky white precipitate indicates the removal, the complete oxidation of stannous chloride. Now this solution has to be titrated against potassium dichromate solution which has been filled in the burette. So this experiment is conducted by using external indicator and the indicator used is potassium ferricyanide. Here the indicator has to be placed on either the indicator plate or the polythene sheet the, which has been placed as shown. Now the titration is conducted by adding the small increments of potassium dichromate. To begin with the solution is added in terms of 1 cm cube. The solution is mixed well and with the help of temporary arrangement you can wash the glass rod. Now with the help of a clean glass rod a drop of the reaction mixture is taken out and brought in contact with the indicator drop. The solution turns blue due to the formation of complex ferrofericyanide complex. Now the glass rod is washed with the tap water and it is placed inside the test tube containing distilled water. Similarly by adding the increments of dichromate the titration is continued. After every addition the reaction mixture has to be tested with a drop of indicator. You can see the formation of complex with the indicator drop. During the titration, ferrous ions gets oxidized to ferric ions.
with the decrease in the concentration of ferrous ions the intensity of the complex form also decreases. At this time the addition of dichromate also has to be reduced. You can see, you can observe the changes. Likewise, the addition also has to be reduced. So, you can see this drop is has failed to give the color with the reaction mixture. This gives the end point of the titration. So, you can also get it confirmed by conducting the same I mean with the same solution you can test with another drop of the indicator. So, again if it fails to produce the color then this shows the completion of the reaction. I mean no more ferrous ions are left to form the complex with the indicator. Now the burette reading is 13.3. The reactions involved in the experiment. In the first reaction ferric chloride is reduced by stannous chloride to ferric chloride and stannic chloride. In the second reaction, excess stannous chloride is oxidized by mercury chloride to white precipitate of mercurous chloride getting itself reduced to stannic chloride. In this reaction, ferrous ions are oxidized by dichromate solution to ferric ions getting itself reduced to Cr3 plus and Fe 2 plus ions now combines with the indicator forming the complex ferro ferri cyanide complex commercially known as Turnbull's blue. Observation and calculations of the experiment. The weight of the sample transferred to prepare the solution is 0 0.0697 grams. The normality of the solution is 0 0.0569. The readings are tabulated as shown. The calculations, weight of hematite ore in 250 cm cube is 0.6 grams. The percentage of iron calculated in the given ore sample solution is 70.2 percent. The probable viva questions are as follows.